Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my study routine. The first thing I always do is put on some study music on Spotify, and I also like to put on some background noise from Noisly.com. As soon as I'm done that, I'm ready to start. What I like to do is go to my monthly planner just to confirm the date of the exam, and then I use my study planner to write out all the topics that will be tested, the subtopics, and I also have a checklist with me just to track my progress as I'm reviewing and studying. I like to attack the content by reading through my lecture notes first, and this for me is usually any PowerPoint slides in class that I've annotated. And as I'm reading through it, I make mental notes of topics that I know I'm going to need a little bit more review on. So for the more difficult topics, I will flip open my textbook and read through the chapter just enough to get a better understanding of the topic. And again, this is just for more difficult topics. I don't do this for every single little thing that I learned in class. Then I'll export my annotated PowerPoint slides onto my MacBook, and then I will start writing review notes on just the difficult topics. So I'll use the knowledge that I gained while skimming through the textbook and try to make sense of it with the PowerPoint while I'm writing down the notes. I used to rewrite everything, but then I figured out that it was actually just a waste of time because what I needed to do was just focus on topics that I had more trouble grasping. So instead of writing review notes on things I already knew, I could be using that time to make flowcharts, diagrams, and flashcards for the more difficult topics. Because I'm a visual learner, I like to include a lot of images and diagrams as well into my review notes. So what I just showed you is the first half of my studying, and this usually takes me around two to three hours. And after I'm done that, I like to have a 30 minute to an hour break. So I'll have some food, I'll play with my dogs, and then I am ready to get back to work. In the second half of my studying routine, I start an active recall spreadsheet. And this idea is from another YouTuber here. I'll link his channel below as well as the video where he talks specifically about it. So active recall is a technique that is used to strengthen your memory of the content. In the first column, you ask yourself a question to test your knowledge. And in the second column, you write down the answer. I make this spreadsheet in Google Sheets. And unlike earlier, I do this for all the material that will be on the exam, not just the difficult topics. As soon as you've written down all the questions and answers, you can actually hide the answer column by making the text white. Then you can start testing yourself. So you'll highlight a question and try to answer it. If you had no problem recalling the answer for a question, then you can fill that question with the color green. This indicates that you understand it and you don't really need any review on this. If you got part of the answer, but you were just a little bit unsure, then you could color it with yellow, which indicates that you need a little bit more review with this one. If you couldn't recall the answer or you had trouble understanding it, then you can fill it with red, which would indicate that you need to properly review this one. So you do this for every single question you wrote down. So it's not just active recall alone, there's also spaced repetition. And this is what solidifies the material into your head. So you review your spreadsheet every day for a little while. And then maybe you can move on to every two days, every three days, every four days, every week, every two weeks. What you're essentially doing is interrupting the forgetting curve, which basically predicts that you lose information over time if you don't try to actively recall or retain that information. So by constantly recalling the answers to these questions, you are solidifying find that information in your head and you will never ever ever forget it. It's basically like flashcards but in a more condensed spreadsheet so you don't have to keep flipping cards over and over again, which I personally prefer. It'll take me about 30 minutes to an hour to go over the spreadsheet every day, but it really depends on how many questions you have on there. So as I finish these tasks, I just mark them off in my study planner. And when I'm done, I obviously like to just chill out and maybe go on Netflix, watch some movies or shows, go on Etsy and just browse the internet really. So that's all for my study routine. I don't do anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and turn on notifications so you know when my next videos are. Thanks for watching.